that lucky glitch when decoupling. Yeah, I guess we lucked out a little bit there. Right? Where's the base in my moon base? It's a um, it's a cargo container that people can live in if they want to. I mean, there's no point in taking anyone up there now. But we got the contract completed and we got some money. We got some good money. Um, I think we... Did we get a little bit of science for that too? Or did we not? Let's position a satellite in a specific orbit of the moon. I want a good contract. I have like no good contracts right now. Alright, fuck it. We're gonna make our... We're gonna make our... Um, you know, this was good. This was good. How much... How much does this thing weigh? How much does this weigh? It weighs 3.5 tons. Okay. So all together... Do you think that this is going to be enough to lift this off? I think it probably could be enough, right? I think we're going to need all this stuff. Don't need this thing. Don't need these. We don't need any of this crap either. Okay. <laughs> Hang on a second. I think there's like a different nose cone that we can use here. I think it comes structural. It's like one of these ones. That works, right? That's fine. Okay. We need some docking ports. I can never remember where docking ports come under. Okay, and we're probably gonna need a bit of a fuel tank on this and a, and a little engine as well, just to maybe get it into, into better position. If if we need to, although I don't know if we need to, I think I think fuel wise, I think we'll be fine. We definitely need a docking port, though, right? Clampatron docking port. Good. Okay, where are we gonna dock? Where are we gonna put the docking port? Where's a good place to put it? Like here. Do we have one on each side? Is that fine? And then we'll just clamp stuff onto it. We'll attach some stuff onto it like that. Doc, you could... Yeah. Do a flyby of Duna. I don't know how to do it. Just check out the administrative building. I think you can increase the amount of available contracts. Alright, okay. You need wheels to dock stuff on the surface. Yeah, that's fine. We can do that. We can do that. wheels on this this isn't going to the surface this is going to be a space station guys we're not we're not putting this on the surface right um okay we're gonna need some of these bad boys what do these look like when they're extended oh i like those fuck you know those look awesome Fucking awesome, actually. Holy shit. Solars will break if anything touches it. Okay. Put docking ports far away from any panels. Oh, I see, I see. The stuff, yeah, the stuff will break. What if we do it like this? Can, can this work? That's probably fine, right? We 
We don't want to break any solar panels, that's for sure. Okay, we got all of our stuff, the battery, the wheel thing, and we're not sending anyone, or are we? Actually, we might send a scientist up in this thing. We're gonna send Bob Kerman up in this. He's gonna, he's gonna be in there. Okay, fuel tanks? Let's get one of these Rocco Maxes, and just in case, let's also shove a, um, a poodle on here too. Put a poodle on here. Um, and then we should be okay to... Oh, that's got the decoupler. Oh no, it doesn't. There's no decoupler on there. Okay, we're gonna need a decoupler. A big one. We're gonna need a, one of the big boys. Okay, what else do we need on this thing for it to work? We got the docking ports. We've got um, the SAS autopilot guy. We've got solar panels. We're gonna need a, some sort of antenna, I guess. But this is just gonna be a... Um, this one's just gonna be orbiting Kerbin, so I think just the Communitron 16 is fine, right? We don't need this big, this big boy. Can we use the Communitron 16S? Would that be okay? If we just put it like up here. Oh, we don't want four of them though. RCS with fuel. There is RCS on there. Fuel, sorry. Do we actually need RCS on, on this thing? Is that okay? Just like that? I don't need RCS for the core. Use the antenna capable of relaying just in case you need it later. Oh, I see what you mean. So we, what, put the dish on? put the dish in here I feel like yeah definitely we do need to trust structure ejection force right sides edit fairing good isn't it uh what else do we need do we need anything else or is this fine we've got uh we're sending bob up to do some science work up here we got the docking ports so so the goal here is to get this thing into uh an orbit and once it's up in orbit we've got the, these docking ports we're going to send up a smaller ship to dock with it it should be able to refuel and get some rcs refueling as well because we're we're hoping not to use too much of this in fact I wonder if I wonder if we can put a bigger fuel tank on here just for because we're gonna be using this to refuel um, little ships mostly and and maybe position itself as well do you think it's gonna be too heavy now or do you think it'll be fine um, so what are we gonna call this one this what's left up there is going to be what it's called so this is the rice Riceroni International um, bro bro Broccoli and Cheese Space Station Core. Yeah? Good. I think this is fine. I think we can get this up, up into orbit. No problem. I think we got enough lift. A space burrito.
I can put the docking ports on the fuel tank. Well, I guess you, I guess, yeah, you can, right? And it'll work fine. I just dock, and then they'll have to walk through a massive fuel tank. That's okay, though. Okay. Should we go like this? Should we give it a go? Why not, right? How are we looking for sequencing? Sequencing looks pretty good. It's a relay antenna. But it can do communications too, right? Let me just double check just to make sure. Relay. It needs some electric charge. I think that's probably fine, right? If it if it's not, then we'll send something else up there that has like a bunch of antennas. We can send up like a like a comms module for the space station and some more solar panels and stuff too, right? Spell broccoli, right? What is it not spelled like that? We said with two C's and you know what? How about we go instead cauliflower since I know how to actually spell that and cheese. Space Station Core. Okay, good. All right, are we are we good like this? We're ready. We're gonna launch this into space and then try to dock with it after. Maybe after I have some lunch. I got some cookies here. Look. Maybe that can be my lunch. And the actual science tools. Oh. Do we actually need some science tools? I suppose, yeah. That makes sense, right? Holy, that's a huge service bay. Fuck. God, that's a massive service bay. Oh. Okay. Science? <laughs> sure. It's just heavier and heavier now, but it looks amazing, doesn't it? So what when we're up here doing all this science, right? We can process it all and get more science. That's how it works. Good. Eat a bag of dicks for lunch. What a great suggestion. Maybe I will do that. Huh. Mm. I think this will be fine. Let's try it out anyway. Bob's on here. Is it worth sending Bill up as well? He's not doing anything down here, right? What? Hmm. I don't know what these are. They're good though. Hmm. Lights. I don't think we need any lights. I don't think we need lights. This thing has lights that we can turn on. Do you want like those cool looking lights? That like illuminate the side like they have on the Starship Enterprise? Are those the kind of lights that you guys are talking about? Mm 
Oh yeah. <laughs> That's gonna be awesome. You could change the color too, right? Just make it look really pink. Perfect. It's fucking awesome. Okay, let's turn the lights off. Okay, good shout with the lights. Okay, cool. Let's try launching this bad boy into space, shall we? See how it goes. We might not have enough um, boost for this, but we'll see. We'll see. Mm. This is where Bob's sitting. This is what he can see right now. Hello, Sips. Hi. I've just had dental surgery, and no I'm in terrible pain. Got Black. three different problems fixed in the same session, oh. so now my whole face feels like someone's taken a baseball bat to it. Black. Please accept this cash for streaming and making things okay. <laughs> Thanks, Dranglethro. I, I hope you feel better, man. That sucks. There's nothing worse, right? All right, we're gonna try to send this bad boy into space, um, and uh, and get it up there in orbit, and then we're gonna try to dock stuff to it. Are we ready? Let's go. Oh my god, it's so heavy. It's maybe too heavy. I think we might need some booster assistance. It barely got off the ground. Fuck. Look at our speed. It's so bad. Jeez. <laughs> it's gonna be a rough one, boys. It seems fine. Maybe, maybe some boosters. Yeah, we might need to. Well, we'll see. We'll see. See how it goes. Maybe it's aerodyne. Maybe if we put, put the lights on. Oh, yeah. That looks fucking awesome. Holy shit, that looks great, doesn't it? Okay. Yeah, I think we might be okay here. Let's switch the lights off for now. Alright, let's start adjusting. Hopefully we're not too heavy. That might work. God, we're quite heavy. It's this thing at the front. Fuck, it weighs a ton. All right, gently. We don't want to kill Bob. Not on his maiden voyage. It's wobbling around a lot up there. Holy crap. God, this is a big sucker, isn't it? Holy crap. All right, let's see how we're looking. Holy shit. Try leveling off a little bit here. Without tipping the whole goddamn thing over. I think we'll try we'll we'll go for about a hundred. I think let's get like a, a like a one hundred orbit. That would be pretty nice. Good enough. Okay. We have to like... Oh no, it's going back now. 
That's fine. I think that's fine. Oh my god, look at the fucking size of this thing. Holy shit. <laughs> look at the fucking size of it. Alright. <laughs> okay, deploy. Lights on. Great. It's looking nice. Okay, so between like 9 and 8 seconds is when we want to start going full blast with this mainsail. The lights are on, boys. I did it. Looking nice. Looking nice and spicy. One thirty by ninety nine. It's not a perfect one, but it'll do. It's it's far enough away as well. We don't want it like too close, right? Perfect. This is great. Will this fall back down? Probably not, right? Peace out. <laughs> okay, good. We made it. Okay, let's extend these solar panels. Don't want to turn the lights off. Good. And... Look at this thing, guys! It looks amazing already! Fuck. Fuck, I'm so happy. It looks incredible. What? The pink tip is ready for docking? Hell yeah. That's exactly what we want. Okay, let's adjust it so that it's like a little bit more like upright. Because I think it'll be easier to dock like this. I mean, I might just be lying, but... Perfect. Pardon me. Okay, so if we open this up now, and we do a log of pressure data, we can get... If we process this in the lab, 15 um, data will equal 75 science, and it'll take 185 days. Let's put these lights on too. And then let's start doing some research. Finally, Bob is doing something. God damn. Okay, let's log this temperature and process it in the lab as well. And what else can we do? Observe a mystery goo? Process it in the lab? Sure. Okay, that's the mystery goo gone now. Okay, so how's this looking? We have 37 data out of 750, and we're currently researching the science. There's no science, but once we do have the science, we transmit it back, and then we get free science. That's how it works, right? Gather all of the science at the same time and put it in the science station. You can always send up more experiments. What is that at the front? Some kind of laser cannon? Yes, it is. It's a laser cannon. That's exactly what it is. Peep, 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 peep. Peep, peep. Look at these panels at the top, too. This, this whole thing looks fucking awesome, guys. This is us. 
It's the Riceroni International Cauliflower and Cheese Space Station Core. Why is Uncle Ben's chicken friend Salsa Fiesta Moonlander Mark I landed here? I don't understand that. And then we also have Oh yeah, here it is. Oh yeah, we're not in the tracking station, are we? Okay. Good. Okay, so are we happy with this? Well are we happy with Bob doing his stuff on here too? It doesn't look like he's actually working, he's just sort of chilling here. He can look out the window whenever he wants though, which is quite nice. And we got the pink lights on as well, so it looks pretty sweet. Super happy. Good. A good first step. Yeah, I didn't think we were going to make it up here actually. I didn't think we had enough uh, oomph. But this is probably the heaviest thing that we're going to have to bring up here for the time being, right? So it's not too bad. Okay. Look, Bob is having a good time too. Look, the, the thing is like shaking around and stuff. Okay, so if we go back to the space center now, um, we have to we have to send up a um, a craft form as well, right? Let's recover this. Recover this. Let's go to the tracking station and see why there's like a fucking pod here. Like, what is this? Is it debris? I don't get it. What is it? It's uh, Uncle Ben's Chicken Fried Salsa Fiesta Moonlander. Uncle Ben's... Oh, it's this one. Is this just a pod that landed that we didn't recover somehow? What the fuck? What in the fuck? Did we just like recover? Oh, was this one of those ones where Valentina couldn't climb up or something? So we recovered her and not the pod? <laughs> that's so weird. That's so weird. Oh well, okay, that's recovered now. It was a faked moon landing. It must have been, right? Okay, okay, and just just so that we can show every in case you weren't here before, guys, we've been making some headway. Look at what we fucking did. We have a a moon base, or well, the the start of a moon base. Okay, so if you weren't here before and you haven't seen the way that you access the base, we're gonna have some wheels that are gonna attach things onto the side of the base, and it has a drawbridge as well. So check this out. Holy guacamole, isn't that cool? That's the best. Great. Good. It's a cute little bugger. We could have put a command module on the booster to fly it back to Kerbin just like SpaceX. I don't want to be like SpaceX, so... I want to do my own thing. Okay, so ha hang on. So what else do we have out here right now? We have three satellites. We have the uh, lunar, the lunar lander uh, colony thing, and we also have um, our, our our brand new space station that we've just. This is the core bit of it. The next part's going to be the tough bit. It's we're going to have to get a, a craft up there. We're going to try to transfer uh, Bill up here as well, maybe. Wait, can I get an answer on this actually? Uh, is is Bill? better off on the space station or better off on curb i feel like he's doing nothing down there no anyone my bub no idea no the pink lights are fancy yeah you can always hire more people anyway 
want a couple of scientists. You want a couple of scientists and engineers up here. Okay. I think I think if we hire two more scientists, we can put them up here, right? That should be good. So maybe that'll be the next thing. Maybe we'll bring like a scientist up, another scientist up to work with Bob, so he's not all by himself. Because we have we're, we have to get a ship up there in case we need to get them off as well. So we have to have a ship up there. All right, listen. Let me go um, eat some lunch. I'll be back in like 10 minutes and we'll carry on, okay? Uh, when I get back from lunch, we'll build a, a small craft with a scientist on it that's going to hopefully, hopefully dock with the space station and refuel while it's up there as well and transfer the scientist to the space station. And then once we're happy that we've done that, then we can build another part. I think the, the next part that we build, we want to get one of these cupola modules on there. And maybe we would like to take possibly one of these storage containers or a crew cabin. Storage container holds more guys though, right? Not that we need like that many more guys, but we can get some engineers up there probably. Um, and then we're going to probably have to do some science to get some more piece, bits and pieces for it, right? More bits and pieces later. Like, I'm not sure what, but field science. Oh yeah, we want to send... Maybe we send a probe or a, a rover to, to Duna. Maybe that's like a good thing, a good starter point for that. Composites, advanced metalworks, girders and stuff. Large volume containment. And what's this nuclear propulsion? The LVN nerve atomic rocket motor. High performance fuel systems. Meta materials, hypersonic flight, experimental aerodynamics, advanced science tech. So there's a convert Otron 250. This mobile processing plant can take raw materials containing even trace amounts of oxygen, hydrogen, and crack them into useful fuel products. Drillomatic Junior, so we can do some mining. These are all convert atrons and stuff, but hang on, scanning tech? Scanning module, survey scanner, fluid spectro variometer. I guess we need some of this stuff. I don't know what that stuff is for. Electronics gives us some even better things. Thermal control system, fuel cell. Battery tent, fuel cell array, automation. A drone core. Okay. Advanced unmanned tech. Large probes. Experimental electrics. So I don't know what else we can actually put up here. What's a xenon container? Oh, I don't know. Dawn electric propulsion system. What other um, modules do we actually want for our space station? There's a lot of cool stuff. Yeah, stay away from the brown pea. Make sure you get them the brown tea. Gotcha. All right, listen. Let me um, let me go do this. Let me go and eat. And uh, I'll be back in like... Uh, like I said, I'll be back in like 10 minutes. I'll put on some uh, music for you guys, okay? What do you guys want to listen to? Um, oh, here we go. Oh, actually, not, not really. That's not, not very good at all. Um, how about... Oh, yeah, this is a good... This is always a really good one, isn't it? Okay, enjoy. I'll be back in 10 minutes, okay? Enjoy this one. You're gonna love it. You're gonna love this. Back in a sec. Oh, you guys missed out. Okay, we'll listen to some of these at the end of the stream. What a, what a great playlist. You guys... The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air was on there. Rock DJ by Robbie Williams. Cotton Eye Joe. God damn. 877 songs. 53 hours and 31 minutes of cheesy hits. Cheesy hits. That's what you were listening to. No? Root for the stars. I didn't get tea, guys. I'm back, but no, I didn't get tea. I had a tea before. That should have been the, the giveaway. Remember I was brought one? No? <laughs> it's your fault if you lost dicks on that one. Sorry. No? Launch Robbie Williams into the sun. 
I think that would be the end of the sun. I think it would recoil in in horror and go to another solar system and we'd be screwed. Um, all right, what are we doing? Oh yeah, we need to take a vessel up to um, up to the space station, right? We need to take a nuclear vessel up there. <clears throat> we can have some strategies. Astronaut complex. Oh yeah, we want to hire a new scientist, don't we? For this, Jeanette Kerman. She's the only one that we can get, Jeanette. All right, Jeanette. Welcome aboard. She's available for the next mission. Uh, Bob is up in space. Bill and Jeanette possibly are going to be up there. Bob Kerman is on the Riceroni International Cauliflower and Cheese Space Station Corps right now. Good. What, what do I get if I upgrade this? Can perform EVAs and Kerbals on EVA can place flags. I mean, we can already do all that crap though, right? Mission control. Flight planning available. Max parts supported unlimited. Custom action groups available. Is this fully upgraded? The launch pad is fully upgraded. Research and development. Research science limit unlimited. Surface samples and resource transfer. I don't think we really need to do anything here right now. Just save our money, I guess. I mean, we could go for this one. It's expensive, though. Let's get a bit more money first. Actually, let's just check our contracts first in case they changed. Satellites, satellites, observational surveys, tourists. Okay, good. All right. Let's get a little, a little ship to dock with uh, the space station now. We'll try it out, shall we? We're gonna try it out. We're gonna take somebody up there. Who are we going to take up there? Jeanette. <coughs> Jeanette's going up. Okay. Wait a sec, though. Hang on, this docking clamp could be a bit of a problem, though. It's a huge one, right? We're using the big boy. Clampatron docking port. Will that even work? <laughs> Big. Fuck, it's really big actually. I don't know if that's gonna work. What do we need to put on here? Maybe we need to put like, um, hang on a second. Maybe we have like an aerodynamic thing or a construction thing that we can, a structural. A brand adapter. Wait, that's way too big. Maybe this thing will work? That looks like it might work, actually. Look, if we go like that, right? And then we put, like, um, the whole thing inside a... Where is it? Coupling. Clampatron docking port. Oh, it doesn't go, like, on it like I thought it would. Do you know what? Truth be told, I don't even know what the fuck that thing is. <laughs> I have no idea what that actually is. I don't know what it does. Just use a different capsule. I don't want to use this one though. I don't want to use a different capsule. For Christ's sake. But I might have to use one. What, like one of these bigger ones you mean? A lander can? What about this lander can? Capsule designed for lightweight non-atmospheric landers. And seats a single occupant. Features a, a novel full body crumple zone technology. That's fine, right? That's probably fine, right? You think it's too heavy though? Maybe? No? Was it no T? Yeah, it was no T. No T, baby. We didn't have any T today. Okay. Let's put... Um, we'll make this one because she's not a... Um, she's not a whatchamacallit. Pilot. We're gonna have to put this thing on here too. I 
I think that works. <laughs> I mean, I guess it kind of works, maybe. We could probably just put it down here, right? Okay, we're gonna have the um, reaction wheel as well. Perfect. And then, how much does this thing weigh? How much does this thing weigh? Does anybody know? Does anyone have the answer for me? This is gonna be like our, our delivery, person delivery system. <laughs> I don't know if this is gonna work, by the way. Maybe it will. This needs more duct tape. I mean, we could get some duct tape. We could totally have some duct tape on here. Uh, what else do we need? A battery? Let's put this battery on here. Okay, and then we're gonna have like... Some sort of fuel tank. I think we can just have like... This fuel tank. Right, and then we could just have a terrier. Terrier should be fine for this, right? Okay. Another thing that this is gonna need is um, one of these bad boys. That might be too big, actually. Oh, I love that. <laughs> I think that's so good. Okay, so it needs that, and then we have to have some um, some RCS thrusters on here too, right? The RCS thrusters, and let's also get some solar mic panels on here too. That should be fine. That's looking good. It's all it's all safe in there now too, right? You think that's going to be too heavy, the top? It's probably fine, right? I don't think we need an antenna or anything. We're not doing any, like, science or anything like that. We just want this to dock, right? Don't forget the fuel. Yeah, no, we're not going to forget. <laughs> don't worry. We're not going to forget about the fuel, okay? We got the fuel under control. Okay, we got a little bit of fuel here. Wait, you mean some RCS fuel, you mean? Okay, we can get a little RCS fuel tank if it makes you feel better. I don't think we need it though. I think this is probably... Okay, you know what? It's not It's not going to be enough. Let's get one of these bad boys on here. Actually, isn't that the same one that we have? We don't need that much fuel. Christ, that's a lot of RCS fuel, isn't it? Jeez. I don't think we need that much RCS fuel. I think we could go like... We could just put this little little ring one here. I think that's fine. Okay, we're gonna have to edit this bit now. I have to edit the fairy so that it goes like... My name is Russell and I'm still a wanker, but I now prefer cocoa butter Vaseline on. <laughs> yeah, me too. I like all that. Okay. Good. Okay, that's... Somehow this, this is what we're gonna dock onto the space station as, as a ship. I, I feel like maybe I've overcomplicated this, but I think it looks awesome. <laughs> so there is that, right? There is that. Do we want lights on here? I'm starting to really think, you know, we do need lights almost all the time. Let's see what these look like on. Oh, that's good. That's pretty good. Okay. I like that. I like that a lot. It just, it just lights things up and makes it look better, right? Can never be a bad thing. Okay, let's switch these lights off. Lights off. Good. Alright, that's that bit. Okay, and we got the decoupler as well. Nice. Okay, so we're gonna go for... Is, do you think this is too heavy? I feel like that's not too heavy at all. I think that that's fine. I think we can go with this setup. I think we can probably go with this setup. Not that one. That's not the setup we were looking for at all. 
Is it this one? It's this one, isn't it? Okay, perfect. All right, we'll go for the swivel. We'll go for the swivel. Uh, let's bust that down to two and get the decouplers on the side here. And then let's grab um, some more of these bad boys. Line them up good. Put some put some little um, nose cones on them as well. Let's get these bad boys down here too. And then let's grab the um, Reliance. I think that's fine. I think that'll be fine. If not, we'll just come back and try again. Um, nose cones. We need um, some some fuel some fuel ducts. The middle. Let's grab some 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 strut connectors. Good. Let's get some lift off clamps. <laughs> nice. I like the clamps. Um, okay, and let's just go through our sequencing here too. So we're gonna have these engines and then we're gonna separate and then we're gonna separate here and that's gonna fire this engine and then this fairing will come off once we're in, in space. And then we've got the RCS and stuff on here and we're gonna dock this bad boy up to Damn the mummy, space that's a big tip. It's you a might huge want tip. to get that checked out. Hey, thanks, Boston Gamp. Appreciate it. The weight in this is uh, 42.675 tons. I think that that's fine. I think that's fine. 42.675 tons. I think that should be fine. It doesn't actually say what I can lift here, or maybe it does and I'm stupid. I'm not sure, but I feel like that'll be fine. I don't think we need anything bigger. I mean, unless we go with some skippers. We'll try it like this and see how it goes, and then if it doesn't go well, then, you know, okay. And uh, we want to make sure that, uh, not Jeb, but Jeanette Kerman is going up there with Bob. Perfect. Okay. Rice, rice a roni. Rice, rice, rice a roni. Um, space station. Um, ferry. With corn and peas. <laughs> and salsa. <laughs> okay, good. Great. Nice. Okay, so this is going to take people up to the space station. Hopefully, if we can perfect it. Okay, I think the staging looks good. And I think we're kind of ready to give this one a go and see how it goes. Right? Wrong? Maybe. Send Bill. She isn't a pilot. She doesn't need to be a pilot. We've got um, a thing on here. We've got this, um, this bad boy here is going to do all of the piloting. We've got a probe. A, a probe core. Doing the piloting. That looks great, doesn't it? Okay, there. Jeanette's ready to go. Okay, Jeanette. Good luck on your first trip into space. Make it count. Okay, we're looking okay here. We're looking good. Don't forget, there's a whole bunch of liquid fuel that we can use to, um, we can, we can refuel this thing. Oh, we need to, oh, it's never gonna come back down, though, is it? <laughs> it's never coming back down. I tell you what, we can use it to go to the moon and come back and stuff, right? Where's Val? Val's on, on Kerbin. She's not flying on this one. She's not needed for this one. I love this. I like it a lot, actually. I think it looks awesome. Hi, Sips. Looks like a Chinese it's rocket. It's your old pal, Dumpfist. Oh, hey, Dumpfist. I went all in and bought the new WoW expansion on EU. Right. Will we have a chance to play together? I'd like that a lot. <laughs> together. Thanks. 
Your pathetic pal Dumpfist feels I'm good man. Plan. I'm sure we will Dumpfist. I imagine that, yeah, we probably will play some WoW when the new expansion hits. I got alpha access to it, by the way. Uh, I haven't tried it yet, though. Maybe we can stream it a bit, like, after we're done with Kerbal. Maybe we can stream it a little bit after we're done with the Kerbals. Fuck, you know what I just did? Accidentally? Okay, you know what? We have to revert back to the launch because I'm dumb. I didn't even track the fucking space, the space station at all before we left. So dumb. Okay, so we want to set the Riceroni International Cauliflower and Cheese Space Station core as our target, right? And then we want to, well, actually, you know what? We probably want it to come around a little bit more. We have to sort of time where we're going to like intercept. We have to do a rendezvous. We have to do a rendezvous. We also have to bear in mind that the that Kerbin does spin around and stuff too. So I think like maybe here would be fine. Okay, good. Let's go. We'll try it anyway. We're, so, so the goal is that we're gonna we're gonna achieve a lower orbit than it's in, so that we can catch up with it, and then we just adjust so that we have an encounter. And then once we have an encounter, then we just sort of move, angle our way in and try. To, I've never done docking before. I've seen it done, but I've never done it myself. But I think that's how you do it. Yeah. Start a maneuver from the ground? God. You despise this game, but you love me. Oh. I'm sorry to hear that, man. Why, what, what do you not like about this game? It's so much fun. Uh, well, I, I enjoy it anyway. I, I feel like my opinion is the best opinion as well, so... That's why I don't understand why you don't like it. It's too nerdy. It's true, this game is too nerdy. Alright. Let's angle. Let's go for an angle. Our angle is good. How are we looking? Not bad. Not bad. It's close. It's close, but no cigar. Okay. We're getting ready to ditch these side, side fuel tanks. It's gonna happen. What a separation. Okay, perfect. So this orbit is was like 100 something. So I think we're gonna try to get this this orbit. We're gonna aim for about 90 to 95 or so, right? Just just to start with. Let's we'll start flattening it out a little bit too. If we can spare the fuel, I don't know. Maybe we're too heavy. We don't have the fuel that we need. So we'll eventually catch up to it. That, that's the idea. If we're in a lower orbit, then we can catch up to it. And then we can maneuver in that way. I think. Again, I haven't done this, so I don't know. Oh, look at this. It looks like a little encounter is unfolding. Okay, let's go with that then. Okay, and then this maneuver here is going to give us our orbit. That works, actually. Okay, we'll try it like this. Alright, so what's this burn? 25 second burn. I think we'll have the fuel for this. It'll be fine. Oh yeah, let's bust this thing off. Pew! <laughs> there it goes. Okay, perfect. Alright, boys, you ready? We're going to go for a 12 second, T minus 12 seconds. We're, we're hoping for an, an encounter where we're going to angle our way into an encounter, right? 
god, the space station is very close by, actually. I wonder if we can see it. No, I can't quite see it. Oh, look, at there's the moon. When the moon hits your eye like a great big pizza pie, that's a more do 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 Okay, let's see how this this orbit turns out. Because it may be that we get screwed over. Because I think I fucked this up already somehow. I say somehow. Of course I mean... Okay, it's not amazing. It is not amazing. It is an it is unorbit though. Um, okay, so it looks like here we have we have an opportunity to intercept. We have to like Oh yeah, that's right. We probably have to like adjust a little bit here too, right? Here, let's add this maneuver and adjust out a little. Like, not like that, though. Oh, we don't want this maneuver here. We want it, like, on the... On here, right? What the... What the fuck? Guys, just ignore me. I don't know what I'm doing. So this is... Th so this is where we have an intersect. Two, this is intersect one. Okay, how do we get these points closer together? Separation is 113 kilometers, so we have to like narrow that in a little bit. I think, um, I think we want to sort of like a adjust ourselves slightly here first. So we're gonna adjust our orbit a little tiny bit. P, that's no good. So we're gonna have to like... Okay. Let's do that maneuver first so that we can adjust our orbit a little tiny bit. And then... And then we'll try to do the intersect, okay? How does that sound? Does that sound good to you guys? It's just a little tiny maneuver that we have to do here. Just like a little... Just a, a little trumpet blast on the... We're just gonna do a little tiny trumpet blast on our engines. Create a maneuver and play with it until they're on top of each other. Okay, I'm just gonna try to adjust the orbit a little bit better. And then I'm going to do just that. I'll create a maneuver until they're on top of each other and then we'll try to intersect. I'm having trouble moving this thing around, actually. I don't know if it's Jeanette's fault or what, but, like, it's tough. Okay, that's much better, right? That's much better. We'll have some opportunities to intersect now. Okay. So what's the best way to do this? Where where do I where do I do my maneuver from? And when you swim in the creek and an eel bites your cheek, that's a more. Love you, Uncle. Fifty one point three kilometers. Still kind of far away, isn't it? because we're not quite on the same orbital path here. It looked close. Intersect to 99, oh wait, 125 kilometers. 